grouping and alignment. So first off, let's select, let's select all of our dots. The way to do that is to hold down the command button and tap A. That means select all. So quickly we've selected all of our items. Now chances are they're all um, on the same line. If they weren't, if a couple were down here, uh, we can correct that by, let's go ahead and select them all again. And when we select them, you'll notice that this menu item, this alignment uh, item, appears up here at the top. Uh, if you want, there's also another way to get your alignment. You might have a toolbar over here, the align, uh, that shows you the options for aligning objects. But for now, we're going to use uh, the menu up here. Uh, because these are all the same dimensions, they're all circles, and they're all the same size, um, we can go ahead and vertically align all of these circles by their top side. When we click that button, all of our circles jump up and share the same top line. So what we want to do next is uh, make sure that our, our, our circles are evenly spaced from side to side. If I deselect, you can see that they're pretty close, but they're not perfect. Uh, these two are a little bit closer than these two. Uh, we can use one of our tools again, uh, our alignment tools up here. And so this one is the horizontal distribute on center. Uh, so it'll look at the centers of our objects and evenly space those, those circles. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now we can see that all of our circles are evenly spaced. What I want to do next is I want to move these up so they're sort of up at the top of my screen. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to sort of nudge my circles into place until it sort of looks right. Once I've done that, I want to make several rows of these circles down the tape, down the, uh, the page. And I think it's 14 that we need to create. To do that, um, and there's several ways of doing that. Um, the easiest way, uh, I'm going to actually group all of these circles together. So they're essentially one object. They share uh, at the moment, they're all separate objects, but if I go ahead and uh, object group, they, became, they, they become a unit. They don't look like they change very much, but if I select one of them, I select all of them. If I deselect any, uh, they all become deselected. I can go ahead and show you. I select that, and I select all of them. So essentially, all of these items are are grouped. What I want to do then next is use my uh, my option. Uh, hold down the option key and make a duplicate of that of that row. And I'm just going to keep doing that. And I'm going to rely on my sort of snapping to help me do it easily. If you don't have that snapping control, you can hold down shift, which will lock it uh, so that you only can duplicate um, vertically on the same line. And let's say I don't do this quite perfectly. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need two more. Uh, duplicate. Yeah, I'm only going to get 13 in this. But you'll notice that they're not perfectly evenly spaced. I got those two close to each other. I'm going to use the same. process of the alignment tools to, uh, to make that nice. Now I'm making a little extra space up here because I have a little too little. Uh, so I'll go ahead and use my marquee again, hold down, slide my selection. I don't have to do it through all the things, just these. 
and uh, I'll select all those items. And then I can go back here and I can choose uh, this two, the vertical distribute on center. Uh, previously I'd used the horizontal distribute. Now I'll use the vertical. When I click that, it evenly spaces all of those circles together. And then I'm going to try to nudge these pretty much into my sheet. And so that is our, our completed grid that we're going to use with the next exercise.